Hello YouTube world, pretend farmer here. Not a real farmer, just pretending. I got a quick hack to show you on how to test and see if these watch batteries, probably more commonly coin batteries, see if they're any good or not. These batteries are starting to really get popular. In fact, the pretend farmers fish scales use these. Now springtime's coming, I need to get these scales up and running, but the problem is I just put new batteries in that I ordered from Amazon and when I hit the button to turn these on, it'll flash up some gibberish and then it'll say low. And then it cuts off. These don't seem to be working. So the question is, did I get dead batteries from Amazon or are my scales just boogered up? Well, I could go out to the store, buy another set of batteries and put in it and then pretty much conclude if it still didn't work, hey, what are the odds of getting two bad sets of batteries? Definitely a bad scale. But the thing is, I don't really have anything else that takes these batteries that I know of, and they're kind of expensive. Why make a wasted trip to the store when I can just check and see if the batteries are good? Whatever it is you're trying to power up, I'm gonna show you real quick how to test these batteries. The only thing you're gonna need to do this is a multimeter. And this is not a fancy meter, this is actually an El Cheapo meter. It is a meter man meter, which is not even a name brand. Uh, you can probably get a meter like this at Lowe's for like 30 bucks. So what you're going to do is, just like testing any battery, you're going to switch it to volts. And you're going to make sure that your meter is set to DC volts. So now let's take this meter and test our batteries. Now if you look at this battery really close, maybe you can or can't see it, it says 3 volts down there on the bottom. As a general rule of thumb, these batteries, if they're reading three volts or higher, they're good. If you have one that's reading, say, two and a half volts or less, it's probably weaning more towards the dead side. These should read three volts. Now, the way I'm gonna test this with my meter is I'm gonna lay it down on a flat surface. This outer rim here, I'm gonna put my red lead on, and then I'm gonna put my black negative lead right smack dab in the back of it. You're gonna lay it with the positive side down, Black lead's gonna go right in the middle of the battery. Red's gonna go out here. Let me show you how this works. Three volts, we're good. Now the reason I say black in the middle, red on the side is because you're dealing with positive, negative. If for some dumb reason I wanted to put my red in the middle and black on the side, you're still gonna get basically the same reading. It's just gonna read negative three volts now. So yeah, I checked both of my batteries. They both read three volts. One was actually a little higher than three. So we're good batteries. The scale has issues. I could put batteries in it all day long. It's just gonna keep messing up. Apparently something shorted out in there. I gotta get this taken care of before spring now so that if I catch the bass of a lifetime, I'll weigh it and know it's the bass of a lifetime. Now I can just go out and buy another scale rather than waste another five or six bucks on two more batteries that wouldn't have fixed this anyway. This is a good tip to know. Pretend farmers looking out for you. Just get a voltmeter and you can test your batteries now. Till next time, this is the Pretend Farmer signing out.